Hi, welcome to App Monster. My name is Jonas, and in this episode, we're going to have a look at the menu tags in Bravo Studio. So you can see we're here in Figma. I have prepared three different types of menus: one with the tabs menu tag, and two with the side menu tags. And we also have a home screen here to trigger those menus. If you get this Figma file, it's linked below this video. You have to notice that. We have to skip tags here. Those mean that these two screens are not handled by Bravo Studio. So the reason for that is that we can only have one menu tag per app. I chose this one for this tutorial. So we're going to only trigger this menu and those will be ignored. All right, let's take a look at the tabs menu. Tabs menu is this container. This container will be displayed the whole time the user is in the app. So this will be the part where your app happens and this is the tabs menu. If we have a closer look at this, you can see that I have multiple containers in here. This is so the user can click anywhere in this container instead of just on this icon. To link, we would just select this container, take the prototyping tool and link it to the page. Next up, we have the second menu type. This is a side menu. So this will be hidden while the user is using the app, but it can be shown by swiping from the left to the right side. And we can also trigger it in the app itself. To do that, I have a home screen here with just this menu text item and we can link this with the prototyping tool. Just select, just select it and we can link it to the page. This will link the menu. So when we click on menu, this menu will open. So furthermore, I have a link from logo to the home screen. So this would mean if we click on logo, we go back to the home screen. So this menu closes. You may ask yourself, why did I color this red? This is the container. So this is what defines the menu. This space won't be shown. But I have chosen to do this, this a little shorter. I'm using the screens of the iPhone 11 Pro Max here. So if a user has a smaller phone than this, I don't have problems with a scroll. For example, if I chose to move this down here, a user with a phone that's just this big would be enabled to scroll down even if there's no content here. So I made it a little smaller. We can have a look at how this menu works here in the emulator. We like we linked this earlier so we can just press menu to open the menu and you can see that this space is red because the container ends here so Bravo just takes what's left to make this look right you just have to go back to Figma select your screen and take the same fill color as you would want your menu Okay, so we're going to update this in Bravo Studio. So you can see it's reloading. It's fetching the last Figma file. And now you can see this whole screen is green. But remember, we only have this container as the actual menu. Let's update this here in Bravo Vision. And you can see the menu works perfectly without being able to scroll. You can also realize that here is a dark rectangle. This is due to the emulator. So don't worry in your real phone. This won't be a problem. This side menu with just half of the screen covered can be closed by either a swiping motion like this, or you could just click on this gray part. The third menu I've prepared is a full screen menu. I have added a little 
I can hear with the action close tag. This is not possible at the moment. The action close tag can only be used with modal menus. I have talked to the Bravo team and they will implement this very soon. Now you could only choose the prototype tool and select this icon to go back to the menu. This only works, of course, if you only have one screen. In other words, if we had a second screen here, we would open the menu in the second screen, click on close, it would always take us back to the home screen. The full screen menu could be closed by this swiping motion I showed earlier as well. So the user won't get stuck in here. As you can see, I've used the display full screen tag here in this full screen menu. Be careful with this tag because some users might be able to scroll here. You see, this is the whole screen of the phone and parts of it are covered by this navigation bar. So the phone knows that maybe some of this design is blocked by this navigation bar. So it lets you scroll here. To prevent the scroll, use the method we used here with the side menu. These have been the menu tags. As you can see, you can get really creative with them. Just make sure to only have one menu tag in your whole app and always have all of your items inside this top level container. If you have any problems with scrolling in your menu, so take a smaller container over a frame with the same color so the user can recognize where the container ends. Make sure to check out the Figma file down below so you can take a closer look at everything. Feel free to duplicate it if you need it for your own design so you can adapt it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or if you need specific tutorials for Figma or Bravo Studio. Make sure to subscribe for more Bravo related tutorials and I'll see you next time. Keep Bravo rising.